While a huge weed that can cause third degree burns, even blindness is now spreading. It's called giant hogweed and it has a lot of people talking on social media. Right now it is listed as an emerging threat in Tennessee, but tonight Grant Robinson spoke with an expert who's giving us some perspective on this dangerous plant. Grant. Brandon, it's called giant hogweed for a reason. It gets massive, and so that and a few other features make it easy to identify. This is giant hogweed. Inside of the big wheat is a sap that if you get it onto your skin and go into the sun, you can get sun poisoning. It basically takes the effect of the protection of your skin away from the sun, and the sunlight burns your skin. If you think it looks familiar, it's because you probably recognize its cousin. Queen Anne's lace, poison hemlock, and wild parsnip are all in the same family. But giant hogweed is the biggest and the baddest. It grows up to 14 feet tall in just a few weeks. The flowers are up to two feet wide, and the leaves and stalks are far larger than its relatives. You can also identify giant hogweed by purple splotches in the stem and stiff white hairs along the plant's base. It's a hard plant to miss when it's, when it's full adult size. When it's small, it's not as hard. It's classified as an emerging threat in Tennessee. That means it's only been found in a few counties but has been disruptive in neighboring states. The Tennessee Invasive Plant Council hasn't said exactly which counties it's been found in, but it is not widespread. However, Denton says it produces a lot of seeds and spreads quickly. So it can become a problem, and they're wanting people to be aware of it. But it's not here uh, everywhere yet, so it's not something most people are going to come in contact with. So when you're outside this summer, you're more likely to be irritated by the common culprits, like poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac, and stinging nettle. Now for all of those plants, the symptoms are mostly itchy and painful rash. Washing the exposed area with soap and cold water is the most important first step. But with giant hogweed, it's then important to stay out of the sun. Brandon. All right, some great tips. Grant, thank you very much.